Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm taking your uh, third week of October read, start from the 15th through the 21st of October 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's see what is coming up for Sagittarius for the third week time. I will be adding Oracle cards in this reading, so stay tuned. And uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it is a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages which resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, Sagittarians, let's find out what is coming up for you guys for this week time. Let's dive into the read and let's find out what can you expect coming up for you in this week time. Sagittarians, let's begin. Five of Cups. I feel like, you know, there is something that you are missing in your life right now. It can be a specific you know connection a person a relationship that you are feeling bad about i feel like you know it can be like a you know, a, you know if you don't have a specific someone and if you are not missing somebody from the past but you do miss the kind of love life that you desire you know the you really want to have that love in your life uh for majority of you i feel like you know, whatever sadness that you are having right now it uh it will go away if you just turn around and if you could just take your focus off from whatever it is that is causing you to feel sad right now to something else because your life is going to change uh, as you bring yourself out of the situation where you are thinking and maybe uh, you know thinking about a brass person thinking about a connection which ended there is something which is bothering you and you really need to stop thinking about it there there was like you know maybe for some of you it can be a work-life situation as well maybe you have lost the job maybe you have uh, uh, you are missing the good times at 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 your work front, and now you you are feeling sad. But actually, if if we if we see what you got still in your life, you you need to be thankful for that. Why? Because that too has a lot of abundance to offer. Just that you are just so focused on what you have lost or what you don't have. You need to switch your focus to what you got already, which is going to make you feel very grateful. And that's going to make you attract more of the reasons to be grateful for. So I feel like, you know, you just need to change your focus to what you got, um, to have more of what you got. Um, I feel like, you know, it's, uh, it's very important right now. Um, for others of you, maybe it's a love life situation. You are missing a past person and then you are missing, uh, you know, having the good times with them as well. Let's see more cards here. Wow, page of cups. There's a lot of love that you have and uh, you really want somebody to share that love with. That's what I'm picking up here. Let's see, page of pentacles. Wheel of fortune. I feel like, you know, it's uh, you do have a lot of offers, opportunities coming your way if and only if you turn around. You know, there are people who are going to be interested in you, who are going to be willing to talk to you, but all you need to do is break free from whatever past had brought into your life. Um, I do see that there could be a secret admirer too for some of you out there who, who really wants to open up about their feelings to you. But at the same time, because since you are so caught up in the hey, uh, sorry, in the pain uh, and in the suffering that you went through, that you are unable to see the goodness uh, available around you. That's what I'm picking up very strongly. You really have to, you know, pick up yourself, gather the strength to move on and move ahead beautiful energies are definitely coming for you let's see more cards here things are changing things are going to um it's it's more like you know you need to look at the br brighter side of the picture is what i'm picking up maybe you are feeling bad because you ended a connection maybe this connection wasn't meant for you or this connection wasn't meant to be giving you anything good maybe you need to just walk away from it maybe you just need to accept the reality and just move on and if it is meant to happen, trust me, as you gather yourself up, as you start becoming positive again, universe is going to bring you what you want. You would not have to chase that person, chase that relationship, beg for attention, beg for love. It will happen when the time is right. All you need to do is right now, the most important thing which can be affecting your life overall is you need to stop thinking, overthinking about what is not working well for you and bring your focus to what you already got. Um, let's see more cards here. Justice, Ten of Swords, Two of Swords. I feel like you know you 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 feel like you know you you were uh you were not treated right in a connection. You are feeling bad for what you invested into a connection, and now you're feeling like you know you really want justice in that situation. It's very hard for you to move on until unless you get the justice there. Now you got to understand one thing: if you are feeling exactly what I said, you really have to do justice to yourself by first 
pulling yourself out of that situation until unless you do that and until unless you choose to move on you will not get the justice as you do that the person who has hurt you will come towards you you need to do that if you really want to do justice to yourself and to get justice from the divine from that specific someone as well you will get it all once you do justice to yourself by first taking the step away from that person and either if you do have the five of pentacles i feel like you know this week is uh not gonna be uh as uh as pleasant as you would like it to be but at the same time i feel like you know it's more about you yourself not about the other things other situations you need to basically stop overthinking about something which is not good in your life right now for it can, for some of you it can be in your love life for others of you it can be in your work life situation as well let's see the oracle guidance there pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you I feel like, you know, you really have to, um, I feel like, you know, you really have to basically, um, try to figure out what is it that is making you feel so, because it's, it's not what you are thinking. It's not about that person. It's not about the justice that you are seeking from someone else out there. It's more within you. You need to try and understand that. Because I feel like, you know, let me take one card for the two of swords here. What is it that, what is that one thing that you really need to make up your mind about? Um, again, maybe moving on and leaving the past behind, leaving that, yes, I want the justice. I want this person to suffer. I want this and that. No, you need to heal and move on. That's going to be the best revenge that you can take from a person if you, if that's what you're waiting for. I need that we do have a stress card again. It's it's more like you know you the you know you, you if if you are dealing in a situation where you really want your person to feel bad for losing you, you will be able to do that if and only if you become happier without that person because that's gonna make this person feel like you know why she, she or he is not reaching out to me why this person is staying away from me that's gonna bother them if you stay in this energy trust me they will be enjoying their life why because you are thinking that for yourself and you are thinking that for them you feel that this person is having the blast in their life and you are the one who's suffering and that's what you need to change you need to switch the story in your mind and as you do that you will see the results as well reflecting the same thought so try to try that for yourself if you want to gratitude is the key again that's exactly what i said you really need to be grateful for what you got and maybe even if this ending is happening or has happened, it's going to be good for you. They need to understand you need to trust. So if your person, um, you know, for some of you, January to June could have been the time where you invested into this connection. Now you feel like you have wasted your time and energy being with that person. Uh, you drive me wild and crazy. This connection could have been very sexual as well for some of you. You need to believe in your prayers as well. You need to start believing in what you believe. Uh, rather than letting your fear feel you or uh, make you feel negative and um, kind of unwanted you really need to stop doing that to yourself so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if it helped you do like share and subscribe till i do the next week for you guys take care bye